your students welcome to my whiteboard program today we have to discuss class 10 science chapter 4 carbon and compounds second part last class we have done first part of the carbon and compounds today we will discuss the second part so before to enter into the main topic i just uh, request you or i appeal you that Due to corona problem, now school still then not opened. So, uh, regularly school is not opened. Our uh, study system is not perfect now. So, at your home, safely to learn, you subscribe my whiteboard, my whiteboard PKRI in YouTube. So that time to time, continuously, you will get the class and you can, you will be benefited. So, you also uh, like it or uh, share it for the maximum benefit of the students. You can say to your friends to subscribe also so that this is totally free channel. So, for the betterment of the students, I have opened this channel. So, you can enjoy this one and uh, class 10, class 9, science and math, both the chapters are covered here and sometimes entertainment and some tips are also given so you can use this channel properly okay thank you so let us come to our main topic today our today's topics will be allotropes of carbon versatile nature like catenation and tetravalency of carbon why carbon makes the covalent compound and what are called hydrocarbons and what are its types and difference between the types these are the main topic today so let us go. What is called allotrope of carbon? Allotrope means this is a different form of carbon because uh, many elements they are available in the nature in different different forms, same element but in different different form that to be pure form. So that is called the allotrope. The different forms are allotrope but this nature of the element is known as the allotropy. For a very simple. When you go see some film, Hindi film or English film, you can see double rule is there. So like Judua, double rule is there, same person doing the different rule, but person is same, but it has different characteristics. So that is called the allotropes of this hero. So similarly, here carbon is the hero and it is available in the nature in three different different forms. So, the three different form of carbon which are very much pure, they are called the allotropes. The allotropes of the carbon are that is graphite, it is pure form of carbon, that is diamond, it is the pure form of carbon, that is fullerene, that is C60, it is the pure form of carbon. So, these three are called the allotropes of carbon and the nature by which the carbon shows this property is known as the allotropy. Clear I think. Next we will come to the versatile nature of the carbon. Versatile nature of the carbon means unique nature of the carbon. Carbon is the element which is unique element we say. Out of 118 element we call carbon is the unique element because of its versatile nature, because of its special nature. What are the special nature which makes carbon so unique? Let us see. The two nature of versatile nature of carbon are one is known as the catenation another is known as the tetravalency. These two versatile nature of the carbon makes carbon the unique element in the element society. So for coming point one, catenation. What do you mean by catenation? Self-linking property of carbon. It makes bond with carbon with single covalent bond and the bonding, bonding continue. Example C60. This is called the catenation. Catenation means what? Now, that is self-linking property. It is seen in each organism. For example, when you are going out of the station, suppose for higher study after class 10, you will go to Bangalore or Delhi or somewhere for higher study. So, when you will enter into the class first day, what will be your mind? That is, I need my own state student. If you are Odia, then you like an Odia student in Delhi. Or if you are Bengali, you need one Bengali student in Delhi. Or if you are Bihar, you need one Bihar student in Delhi as a friend so that you can talk. 
with same language and you will be free with that person so this is called the self linking odia odia bihari bihari bengali bengali that is called the self linking all the living organism we have this property but carbon has the extra ordinary self linking property what it's extraordinary when carbon uh, when there will be other elements near about carbon and option is there nitrogen oxygen hydrogen and carbon then carbon will link with first carbon then if there will be no carbon then it can choose the another element but first in the first option it will select to carbon to make the bond so carbon makes bond with carbon with a single bond so that is called the self linking property because of this property it can make the bigger giant molecule in the uh, element society see just how it makes the how it utilize the catenation property so carbon we know tetra valency so carbon has four electron in outermost cell so now it can make another c it can make c it can make c it can make bond c with the carbon then again it has also three it can four bond it can make c c c then they will make c c c c c c like that c c c like that because h will go to c they have also tendency to expand with the c so like that so there will be first structure of this molecule having c if there will be hydrogen will come then it may be stop here but if it will be uh, carbon will come then again it will expand c c c so you see the board will fill up the whole thing uh, the wall will be fill up but then it will not stop so in this way scientists they have developed one artificial allotrope of carbon known as the fullerene c60 which is very uh, now under the research medical research for uh, health and uh, prospectus uh, purpose so that is going on c60 so in this way this catenation help the carbon to make the giant molecule then we will come to the tetra valency tetra valency before i have already told you that is c uh, uh, atomic number of carbon is 6 and electronic configuration is 2 comma 4 so 4 is the outermost orbit that is called the uh, valence electron so it can take four electron to make eight or it can leave four electron to make uh, helium configuration that is two so four eight minus four that is four so four it can take four it can give that is called the number of electron shared or lost or gain is known as the valency here the carbon shared four electron so that's why it is called the tetra valency so due to tetra valency what benefit it get due to its tetra valency it can make four bond at a time so that carbon makes a lot of compound in the element uh, society which other element cannot do such number of compound so this tetra valency and catenation makes carbon the unique element available everywhere in our uh, living world so that is that makes the carbon unique let us come to next point what is called that is called why carbon compound are exceptionally stable though they are covalent compound so what is covalent compound i have already told covalent compound is the compound which is formed by the covalent bond and covalent bond is formed by the sharing of the electron carbon makes the bond with sharing the electron for electron it share to make the bond that's why carbon make always covalent compound but we know also covalent compound and ionic compound difference covalent compound is not stable it is weak whereas ionic compound is stable and weak uh, strong but covalent all the covalent compounds are unstable and weak but exceptionally carbon though it is covalent compound which makes the bond by the sharing the electron still then it is stable and strong question mark is why it is stable and strong though the covalent compounds are weak so let us see what we have on the board that is carbon atoms are very small in size the nuclear charge of the atom is strong enough which enables the nucleus to hold on the 
shared paired electron strongly making the bond stronger and hence carbon compounds are exceptionally strong why because you see there are so many elements are there similarly carbon is element but its atomic size is very small comparing to other element suppose other elements are there their atomic size is like that but comparing to this car uh, other element the size of carbon atom is so small so as this is so small it is two orbit suppose this is the carbon this is the mm, that is nucleus it is nucleus and one is ksl carbon and another is fourth that is l cell so two electrons are here and four electrons are here so now this carbon the radius is from here center to the outermost orbit this is the radius this radius is very small comparing to other atoms so its nuclear charge this nucleus has certain charge by which it can attract the elements towards the center so it attract this outermost orbit to very strongly so when it shares this electron so when this four electron are shared so this outside is lost so then four electrons are here 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 and here suppose hydrogen is there so there is bond and hydrogen is there there is bond hydrogen is there there is bond and hydrogen is there there is bond so now what happens now this makes the periphery i have told you ch4 this is methane so now as its nuclear charge is stronger and because of its small radius uh, small radius or small size of atom the nuclear charge is enough to hold the shared paired electron this is called the shared paired electron hydrogen and carbon hydrogen and carbon hydrogen and carbon this is the shared paired electron so this paired electron this paired electron this paired electrons are very strongly attracted by the nucleus of the carbon then the hydrogen or any other element to which it makes the bond so carbon attract more strongly to the other element so that they cannot leave to the carbon because its nuclear charge is more so when any element want to make the compound with carbon they have to think twice or thrice why because in between they cannot leave carbon because carbon strongly attract the shared paired electron agar koi uska sath shared dosti karega so samajh ke karega taki अगर बीच में वो लोग छोड़ के नहीं जा पाएगा इसलिए कार्बन बोलता है मेरा साथ दोस्ती करना है तो जिंदगी भर दोस्ती करो अगर दोस्ती नहीं करना है तो छोड़ के चला जाओ तो दोस्ती करोगे तो मैं नहीं छोड़ूंगा क्योंकि तुम्हारा जो सैयार है मैं खींच के रखूंगा तुम अगर जाओगे तो अकेला जाओगे तो कोई एलिमेंट तो अकेला नहीं जाएगा अपना इलेक्ट्रॉन छोड़ के इसलिए कंपाउंड बहुत स्टेबल होकर रहता है कोई उसका पार्टनर कोई छोड़ के नहीं जा पाता है बिकॉज ऑफ इट स्ट्रॉगर अट्रैक्शन फोर्स सो दैट्स वाई कार्बन दो इट मेक्स द what is called the covalent compound still then it is very much stronger because it fits small size of atom and nucleus charge is enough to hold the shared paired electron this is called the shared paired electron so the carbon hold this shared paired electron so strongly so that they cannot leave the carbon so the compound remains stable this is the reason why com uh, carbon compounds are more stable then what is hydrocarbon and what are the types what is hydrocarbon hydrocarbon means what very simple hydrocarbon hydro means hydrogen carbon means carbon so the compound which consists of only carbon and hydrogen element only carbon and hydrogen element that compound is known as the hydrocarbon so uh, if there will be one ch4 nh3 suppose then it is not hydrocarbon it is the derivative of hydrocarbon because hydro besides of c and h nitrogen is there so it is not pure hydrocarbon pure hydrocarbon will be ch4 that is known as the methane so any compound containing carbon and hydrogen element only then that is called the hydrocarbon are you clear so hydrocarbon they have the derivative hydrocarbon we can use here oh ch3 oh that is called the methanol methanol methanoic acid ethanol aldehyde all these are known as the derivatives of the hydrocarbon but simple ch compound is known as the hydrocarbon now we have to see what are the differences between the hydrocarbon so two types of hydrocarbons are there 
I have given you two types of hydrocarbon are saturated hydrocarbon and unsaturated hydrocarbon. So hydrocarbon is divided broadly into two types: saturated hydrocarbon and unsaturated hydrocarbon. Let us see what are the differences between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbon. First point is carbon and carbon atoms are linked with single bond. These are less reactive and more stable. So this is this is called the uh, saturated hydrocarbon. That is they are very more very much stable. They comparing to unsaturated they are stable and they are less reactive. Those who are stable they are less reactive. Very simple. So the and between this carbon this compound contains C and C between only single bond. Anywhere you will see the compound. If C and C between single bond is there, then blindly we can say it is the saturated hydrocarbon because single bond. Then, in the reverse, the unsaturated hydrocarbon is divided again into two types: alkene and alkyne. Simply, it is called the alkene. I will come to next part. This is normally called the alkene. And unsaturated hydrocarbon are two types. They are called alkene and alkyne.